Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for another lesson. And you know what this time we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about the time that Jesus goes up to heaven. So remember, we just celebrated Easter not too long ago. And what is Easter? It's when Jesus came and then he died for us on the cross and he went back up to heaven. So this is the story right now. We're going to call it Jesus Goes Back Home because his home is really in heaven. This is a story about Jesus Goes to Heaven. So Jesus brought his helpers to a mountain and he said, it's time for me now to go to heaven. And he said, don't forget to tell everybody about me. So then Jesus went up in heaven in the sky and he was in the clouds and disappeared. And his helpers or his disciples stared at the sky for a very long time. Kind of like when you're saying goodbye to a friend and you don't really want them to go and you just kind of sit there and keep watching even though they're gone. Well, that's how they felt about Jesus. They didn't want him to go. They would miss him. But he had to go back home. And then suddenly, two angels appeared and said, Why are you still standing here? And he said, You know, don't be too sad because Jesus will return the same way you saw him go. So the same way he went is the same way he's going to come back. And the helpers or his disciples remembered that Jesus said that he would come back to take them to heaven. And they were very happy. So here's a picture of what? These are the two angels. Remember they said, why are you still standing here? He's coming back. And who is that up there? In the cloud that's Jesus and these are his helpers or commonly known as the disciples we learned about that in the Bible so they're there looking at each other waving to Jesus they're gonna miss him but I want to tell you something else it is for the purpose that he came Jesus came to save us, and he did. He did that by dying on the cross and raising up to heaven. He resurrected, and he went back up to heaven. When he went back to heaven, that's what we call ascension, and that's always on a Thursday this year. We will celebrate the ascension on May 28th, 2020. In the Bible, it's full of stories, Bible stories, and especially this story. And it says, I am with you always. That's in the Bible. You can have your mommy and daddy uh, look that up for you and explain that to you. And one thing about the Bible, it is where Jesus talks to us. If you want to know about Jesus, you got to read his book. Everything is in there all about him and all about his love for all of us. So here's a little coloring page I did. I enjoy coloring, so I did this. So here's Jesus up in the sky. And here are all his disciples or helpers. But remember, don't be sad because Jesus will come again. And he went up to heaven. That's the word you probably hear a lot at church, heaven. So what is heaven? Well, here's just a little picture of the gates of heaven. Actually, there's not really a physical gate like we have at our house. It's, it's kind of a place where Jesus and all his saints are. It's a beautiful, calm place where you don't go hungry and you don't feel bad and you don't feel sad and you're always happy because jesus is there wherever jesus is there's always peace and love 
and happiness. So also that's where the angels live. The angels are everywhere. They are here with us to guard us. Remember the story about the guardian angel where you have your own? Well, there's always so many also in heaven and there's just a couple of them up there, just a little picture. So heaven is a wonderful place and hopefully we'll all see each other there when it's our time. And another thing that they always say, they say in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. So what does that mean to us? Store up for yourselves means to keep, to have there treasures in heaven. What are treasures in heaven? That's something like love and being kind to each other and being respectful. Those are all the treasures we have in heaven. It's kind of like a pot of gold, but it's more than that. So here's my version of treasures in heaven. So the cloud is kind of like heaven and this pot where all the treasures are, is kind of like all the good works that we do whenever we're, we're good to each other or whenever we share our toys or whenever we help one another or we pray for one another. These are the treasures that we have our blessings that they keep for us in heaven. God keeps that for us in heaven. Okay, so it's very important to have treasures in heaven. So they're very different from treasures that we have here on earth. What are your treasures here on earth? Well, you might have lots of wonderful toys, um, lots of things that you enjoy doing. But remember, Heaven is the place we really belong to. Heaven is really our home. And that is where we put most of our energy into. Everything we do here on earth is something that we look forward to in heaven. We do everything here on earth to please God, to, to follow his commandments, to be nice to each other because it's, it's good to be nice and make people happy listen to your mommies and daddies and grandmas and grandpas and do what your teacher tells you. Those are all good things. And those are all things that we enjoy here. It makes us happy. But heaven, that's home. So I wanted you to know that you are angels and you are every bit of an angel as real angels in heaven. As long as you listen to your mommy and daddy and you pray every day, and you take your communion, and you listen to your teachers, and you be kind to one another. All right, and I know you all are. You're very good, very good. So the, again, I am with you always is found in the book of Matthew, and that corresponds with our story for today which is what? Jesus goes up to heaven. Till next time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.